In this video, I'll show you how to implement a digital wallet system on your WooCommerce store for free. Let's get straight into it. For example, in my digital wallet, I've got a balance of $70. So I can do a few things here. I can top up this particular balance. So I can click add balance. We can enter in our amount. So for example, I can say $80 and then just hit proceed. And then we can just make the relevant payment and then it will add $80 to my account. I can transfer some, if not all of this fund to a different user account on this website, or we can actually request to withdraw this amount back to our bank account, all right? Or we can actually go ahead and purchase something using this digital balance. So if you wanna create a similar setup in your WooCommerce store, I'll show you how to achieve this for free. The links to all the resources mentioned in this video will be in the description below. And with that being said, let's head over to our dashboard. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is head over to plugins and then add new. And we're gonna go ahead and install this free digital wallet plugin. So I'm just gonna search for wallet. Okay, and it's this particular plugin here by WP Swings. So let's install and activate this plugin. And now we'll set this WP Swings menu here. Let's click on Wallet System. So we'll have a quick look at the settings overview and then we'll actually go ahead and test this out, all right? So let's skip this for now. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is enable this particular plugin. We'll allow customers as well to recharge their wallet system. We'll auto-complete orders paid with via their wallet. Again, a lot of these options will be depending on your requirement, okay? So for example, allow partial wallet payment. So we can enable this. So say a customer has $100 in their wallet and a product is $150, then we can allow them to use the $100 from their wallet and then pay off the remaining $50 via some other payment method. Let's save settings. All right, now we can head over to wallet. From here, we'll get a list of all the users on our website. And then here we can see at a glance how much money they've got in their digital wallet. From this settings, the admin can bulk add a set amount of credit to all users, or if they use a CSV format, they can import different credits to specific users. The admin can also remove a specific amount of credit from the user account. Let's say you created a seasonal offer where all customers will get a hundred dollars in credit that they need to spend by the end of the month. Then we can go ahead and do so here. Okay. So we can say credit and then let's just say a hundred dollars, for example, for the detail, we'll just say holiday gift Then we'll update. Now all users have a hundred dollars in their account. Okay, so wallet transaction. So here we'll see a list of all the various different transactions um, made by customers using their digital wallet or even admin. For example, here we can see that the admins manually added a hundred dollars to all the users um, account. So whenever a customer submits a withdrawal request, you'll see it here. From this tab, admin can enable wallet cashback and you can give cashback when certain conditions are met. So for example, we can say if you spend over $200, we'll give you $25 cashback. So instead of just removing the $25 from their order, if we give them the $25 credit, they're more likely to come back to our website and actually purchase something which oftentimes will cost more than $25. And then in that case, they can partially use the amount in their wallet and then they can pay for the remaining balance using a different payment method. So it's an excellent strategy to increase the lifetime value of your customer. Again, you can play with the offers here. Um, wallet action. Here, if you're running a subscription, you can add a set amount of credit to users who has an active subscription, okay? And we try to enable it. It's prompting us to use the WP Swing subscription plugin to activate these features. All right, we can go to overview and this will give us some tutorials on how to actually make the most of this particular plugin. Now that we've got a general sense of what you can do with this plugin, especially the free version, let's have a look at it from a user's point of view. So let's head over to our account page, All right? And then we'll have this section which says wallet. And then here you can see that my particular balance is $100. I can add it to my balance, so I can click add. So currently it's on the add tab, so I can enter in a specific amount. So I can say $50 and then we can just proceed to add in this balance to our account. All right, so then we need to remove this item from our basket. Let's head back over to my account page and let's go ahead and add that $50 again. Okay, so we can just make sure we fill in our details. This is that wallet product mm -hmm. and we can pay for it. Okay, and then when we navigate back over to my account and then wallet, 
All right, it's still saying a hundred dollars because that particular top up that we just did, it's pending. OK, so currently it's on hold. So if we head back over to the admin dashboard, we can go ahead and approve that order. All right, so now let's view our wallet again. And now we've got $150. So it's working exactly as it should. We can do a wallet transfer. So if we've got a friend or a family member um, who has an account on this particular website, then we can enter in their email address and then we can transfer a set amount to them. So we can transfer $80, for example. We can add the reason. So we can just say gift, OK? And then we can hit proceed. So the wallet transfer was done instantly and we can double check this by heading over to our dashboard and we'll go to wallet transaction. And here we can see that this particular user, which is the admin, which I'm currently logged in as, made a transfer to this particular user here. And again, since it was done as admin, it's been approved automatically. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in a comment box.